Hey everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning how to build Python apps such as a web scraper, stay tuned. I'm going to be showing how to do this using ChatGPT so you don't need to know any specific coding in today's video. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Alright, so you'll see I have a couple of ChatGPT prompts, but I started off with assigning the role of a professional Python developer. Now you can use Replit, which is a website online where you can run this code, or if you want you can download and install something like Visual Studio to run this code. Relatively straightforward but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start from scratch. So you can just go to new file and then you can select a new Python file. Now at this point I already have one saved so we'll just start over and we'll go ahead and close this. So now you'll see my prompt. I said write me code for an application that can be run in Visual Studio Code. Now the next part I'm going to make sure that I preface by saying make sure that you are not scraping websites that are prohibiting the use of web scraping tools. So basically make sure that you're following any and all applicable laws, rules, regulations, guidelines, etc. when making applications like this and that you have permission. So with that being said, this needs to be a web scraper program. This needs to have a nice user interface so you can read this. But basically, I wanted to give users the ability to search for or scrape multiple elements of a web page. And then I will be scraping my personal website. So I'm going to be scraping my website, codelessfix.com. So you'll see that we have this page here. And then you'll see I can scroll through and see the different elements of the page. So we'll go back here and you'll see that I provided the basically just what I needed the program to have. I wanted to have a user interface so that I'm not pasting into a command line and really just something that looks like command prompt. So you'll see it provides this text here and we can click copy, go here and click paste. Now at this point, you can typically just click run Python file and you'll need to save it. So we'll call it scraper dot pi but we'll call it scraper 2 and we'll click save now what happened when i ran this the first time it gave me an error and so just to show you the basics of this and prove that you don't need any coding experience i said error no module named open pyxl so you'll see that it gives you a command that you can use and you can run this in visual studio and then it'll install what's necessary or you could do what I did and I just put import here with PYXL, which is this part here. But long story short, it ends up running. So now we have this program right here. Doesn't look super great, but it's not that bad. So the website is what we're going to be pasting in. So we're going to put HTTPS semicolon slash slash. And then I'm just going to put codelessfix.com. Now, from this point, you're going to need to figure out what elements that you actually want. So let's say I want H1 tags and H2 tags, so the, the heading styles. I'm going to put scrape. Now it pulls up this dialog, so we'll say for the video and click save. You'll see it says it's been saved. And now we have this new file here. So now we're going to open it up. So you'll see H1 style and it has a bunch of text. And what's important is you'll see it says we make. And then when we go to our website, you'll see that's part of the text here. Now, because the text is different colors, you'll see that you would actually need to kind of scroll through and see, uh, try to find whatever it is specifically that you're looking for. And it may require some modifications, but it's a good start. Now here you'll see we have H2 tags and you'll see it says apps for your project and it has different colors. So <clears throat> for this one right here, it's only showing we make and then you'll see it says pre-built apps. And then you'll see it says we make and then pre-built apps. So what it's doing is it's showing not only the text, but the color codes or content with it. And then for this one down here, again, you're seeing the size, RGB colors, and you'll see it says apps for your project. So what we can do to kind of test this is we can right click this page and click inspect. And then you can go through the various 
parts of the website and see if this is, for example, if we said custom apps and we can hover over this, you can see these elements 000, 11852, 191. So we'll come back here and you'll see as we scroll through 000, and then we may need to go back here 11852, 191. So it's pulling the text just as described. Now we're going to close this and do one more very quick test just to see what happens if we only want to scrape with one element. We'll click scrape and click finished as the name <clears throat> and then we will go to our desktop and you'll see this document just popped up. Now we only have the H1 elements listed here. So all in all, it's working very, very easily. Now I do have separate videos, which I will link in the description on creating an application file so that you don't have to run this in Visual Studio Code every time, as well as a video on how to host your Python apps online. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.